Hello, my name's Brad Neal with the University of Indianapolis. I'd like to talk with you a little bit because if you're watching this, you're probably in my Chemistry 150 course. Now, specifically, I have three Chemistry 150 classes that I'm teaching this semester. Um, since they're all the exact same course in terms of the material that we're going to be covering, that's why uh, when you hear me talk about 150, I just say it kind of generically, as opposed to saying Chemistry 150 dash 01 or dash 05 or dash 09. Um, you all have a, all the students have a specific class that you're registered in, um, in, a, in respect to having a section number, but generically on ACE, everything is going to be showing up as chemistry 15001. So if you see that 01 and you think, oh, I'm in 05, I'm in the wrong place, you're probably in the exact right place uh, if you're looking for general chemistry with Brad Neal. So I thought that I'd take this opportunity to uh, take you around for a little bit of a test drive of our ACE site. So here we go. Okay, so when you click on the ACE site, so it should be this uh, 2020-10-chem-150-01, um, you'll probably be, you know, hopefully be introduced with this overview page like you see here. So my name's up here at the top. Um, here's a couple of odds and ends. First and foremost, it's easiest if you contact me through the messages feature that's on ACE. And that messages feature is over here on the left-hand side. You see where I'm kind of like hovering the mouse over. Um, that's the right place to try to contact me. Uh, email is okay, but if you've got course specific content, please use the messages feature. Um, it just makes it a lot easier for me to make sure that I get uh, responding back to you because I'm getting a ton of emails. I don't want to lose your email in the shuffle. Um, to get started, uh, I want you to review the syllabus and we'll go over that here very briefly in a second. Um, and then I want you to also use the uh, appropriate lessons tool over here on the left. Now what we're seeing here um, behind me, beside me, is my tentative teaching schedule for this fall. Um, and I've got it listed here as of 8 2020 um, If circumstances change around us, this schedule may have to be altered and I'll let you know uh, in an email that it gets altered uh, and I'll try to post, I will try my best to remember to post it up here um, as fast as possible. So uh, if you'll note the, I've got these things in blue, which are our virtual class uh, times. And by virtual class times, really what they are, are virtual office hours. So I'll be on an open Google Meet and the Google Meet code is listed in each one of these blocks. Um, so if you type that code into Google Meet, you'll be able to have access to me and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you've got during that time period. It's an office hour, so I'm not gonna be doing direct lecturing. The lectures uh, are gonna be given to you on ACE. Um, typically what they're gonna be is a uh, YouTube video or a series of YouTube videos that I'm gonna ask you to watch by a specific uh, date. And they're videos that I've made uh, or content that I've curated and I thought like, wow, this is just awesome. There's no way I can make something better. Um, but typically it's gonna be stuff that I've made. We'll show you that in the lessons page here in a second. So these blue spots here are when I am promising you that I'm gonna be available on Google Meet um, so you can log in at any point in one of these blue times, whether you're in chemistry 01, 05, or 09, whatever works your schedule for your schedule, I'll be online at that time. Um, the red, kind of looks like it's red on the monitor, uh, schedule here, those are the times when I'm gonna be on campus. Um, so uh, 151, if you're in the 151 labs, this is when I'll be in the labs. If you're in 151, 51-05, you're going to have Dr. Lori Bolliard as your instructor. Um, typically, in a normal circumstance, you'd have me, but I've got a scheduling conflict because of my little kiddos, because uh, i got two little kiddos. Um, that doesn't allow me to be on campus at 8, and we want you to be able to have lab. So Dr. Bolliard's going to be there at 8, so you can have lab. 
On Thursdays, this is when we're going to do face-to-face. -face. That's what the F2F means, discussion times. So group A is going to come in one hour. Group B is going to come in the next hour. And we're going to do this uh, group A, group B uh, time slot stuff throughout the rest of the semester as long as we possibly can uh, meet face-to-face. -face. So in the ACE site, we're going to show you um, the spreadsheet where you're going to be able to figure out are you in group A or are you in group B. Please show up to just your time period. The reason we've set you up into group A or group B for 05, 01, or 09 is so that we can maximize social distancing. So we should be okay um, as long as you show up to the right time period. If you don't show, if you show up early, um, that's cool. You're just not gonna be permitted in the classroom. If you show up late, you're not going to be permitted in the classroom um, late, meaning you came to an hour late, later than you were assigned to. Um, again, that's just a social distancing thing. What are we going to do during discussion periods? Good question. During discussion periods, I'm going to answer any questions that you have, like over homework, over concepts. So it's kind of like a face-to-face -face office hour, except if you don't come in with specific questions, I'm going to have specific questions for you. In fact, as part of this course, we're going to have this, uh, like a participation grade slash quiz grade. Um, and that's going to require you turning in some uh, work on an assignment each week. Discussion sections are a great time for you to make sure that you've got those answers right and that you understand what's actually going on. So that when we come to test weeks, which we'll be doing testing completely online, when we come to test weeks, you know, you'll have been able to ask those questions in a face-to-face -face environment. You should be hopefully pretty solid in how to do stuff. So this is the general overall schedule. Okay, so like I said, uh, over here on the left, we have announcements. If we click on announcements, this will be uh, where you can go back and you can read announcements after the fact um, that I send you. Typically, I'm going to send you announcements um, in your email, but they'll also be posted here so you can uh, read them later uh, if you see fit and you want to be reminded about what I've said. Your syllabus is right here. So if we click syllabus and then we click the PDF and we make the PDF a little bigger, enhance, enhance, groovy. Um, because I've got those three sections and it's all the same class material, I've just got this one syllabus for all three of the sections. Um, here's the discussion information like we just talked about. The lecture format, like I mentioned, is going to be an online format. Here is some information about uh, me and where my office is and my email is. I will do face-to-face -face, um, meetings with you if you need to for uh, office hours or otherwise if you have questions. And if you remember back on the schedule, let's go back there real quick, um, Friday is office hours by appointment pretty much all day. That's a good time that if we need to uh, sit down and do a face-to-face -face meeting, we could schedule that pretty easily here on Friday. We might be able to do that another time throughout the week. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are hard. Let me know uh, via the messages feature, and we'll start trying to figure out some way of having that face-to-face -face meeting. Back to the syllabus. Required textbook. Um, it's a free textbook. Um, you are going to have required readings. I'm going to ask you questions in class that are going to uh, presuppose that you've done the assigned readings. Um, but here's the information that you would need for your textbook. Uh, you are going to need a scientific calculator, so make sure that you have one. Uh, don't count on your phone working as a good scientific calculator. Um, that's not going to be allowed on tests and otherwise, and we're not, I'm not going to allow that uh, to be used as your calculator in those face-to-face -face discussion periods. Our online homework is going to be through Chem 101, so, and here's some information about that. You should have also received some previous information from me about Chem 101, so that should be all good. ACE, uh, if you're watching this video, it's because you uh, have been able to access ACE, which is really great. 
check ACE every day to make sure that you are up to date on everything that's going on. You're also gonna wanna check your email every day so that you can see if there's any messages um, from the university or from me regarding class. Now I've got, I skipped over this book right here, this calculations in chemistry. Um, this is not a required book. This is a thing that um, sometimes students say, you know, I've practiced all the things that you've said, I've done practice in the back of the book, it's not making sense, or people say, I want more practice, this is what I suggest that you get. Um, there's a first edition and there's a second edition. The second edition and the first edition, either one would work fine. But this is if you're looking for additional stuff beyond um, the homework, beyond the quizzes, discussion, participation packets I give you, additional stuff, this is a good resource. Um, you're gonna need reliable internet access for this course. That's just a thing um, because we're doing an online lecture component. Uh, if reliable internet's gonna be an issue with you, please let me know as soon as humanly possible so that we can talk about what our options are to uh, ameliorate that. Software, uh, Microsoft Office is free to you. Um, go to the university's information technology, the IT department's uh, help desk website thing and they have guidance for how you can access office uh, through microsoft or office by microsoft for free because you're a student i'm going to let you read through the course description here uh, i would note that this is a three credit hour course because this is a three credit hour course um, that's where this line here uh, in the description is really important. So we generally say for a, for every one credit hour, you're gonna have one hour of work or time that's dedicated in an in, like a face-to-face -face kind of experience. And then you're gonna have um, two hours outside of class for every one hour face-to-face. -face. So because this is a three hour course and we've got that discussion period there, um, we do the math you're approximately probably going to be needing to spend 10 hours a week just on this course alone. That covers doing the homeworks, doing the readings, taking notes over the readings, watching the videos, taking notes over the videos, contacting me with questions that you might have over your notes, over a homework, etc. cetera. Um, it's going to require a time investment on your part. I'm more than happy to help you as much as humanly possible uh, with that time management component of your day. Um, and so if you're running into a situation where you're like, I have no idea how I'm gonna get 10 hours to study for this, let me know. Um, I'm here to help you try to figure out not just chemistry, but also the time management component um, and the professionalization component of this whole college thing, especially in this new environment we are all finding ourselves in. Um, communications, like I said, please make sure you send me uh, communications for the course through the course ACE site. If you are in lab and you have a lab question, make sure you are using the lab message system. So on ACE, you're enrolled in uh, a 150 and a 151. Make sure you send the right question to the right ACE site. Grading, because that's what's really important. Um, or that's what you probably have the most questions about. So your final grade is gonna consist of homework scores, quizzes, participation activities, and exam scores. And here's the point breakdown. Your homework, all in all, is gonna be worth 300 points. All in all, the all of the quizzes and participation is gonna be equal to 130 points. Exams one, two, three, and four are gonna be worth 80 points a piece, so that's a total of 320. And your final exam is gonna be 150 for a sum of 900. If you wanna know what your grade is at any point in the semester, add up all the points that you have earned thus far, divide that by 900, and you're gonna get your percentage of what your score is in that moment. Homework, we mentioned that, uh, how that's gonna work. Typically, homeworks are gonna be due Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 11.59 p.m. Um, there are not going to be any late homeworks accepted. Um, 
So it's going to be incumbent upon you to make sure that you're staying on top of that. Now, a small percentage of uh, homework scores may be dropped um, because everybody's got a bad day or two. That happens. But don't let it happen too often, though, um, because if you if you end up getting a string of zeros um, for not turning stuff in, there's just no way you're going to be able to recover your grade because look how much your homework is worth. Your homework is worth a third of the overall course, right? So if you bomb the homework, you're going to be in a rough shape. For the quizzes and the participation uh, activities, these are going to occur approximately once a week. Um, you're going to get an email from me letting you know that, hey, this week's participation quiz activity has been posted. These are going to be due on Friday, and they're going to be an assignment such that you'll upload your work that you have done towards the uh quiz slash participation activity directly to ACE and then I will grade it and I will get you feedback based off of that. Your exams are going to be focusing on specific chapters but the thing about chemistry is is it's cumulative. You can't forget what you learned in chapter one and two and still do well in chapter nine. So some courses you can kind of say like, all right, I bombed chapter one and two, but you know, like it, chapter three and four doesn't really matter like what happened in chapter one and two so I can recover. Here is a situation where it absolutely matters. You have to keep going with your knowledge because, and you have to get mastery or at least competence um, as stuff is coming up because we're going to continue to use that stuff throughout the rest of the semester. So this is me begging you to not fall behind. Uh, and if you feel like you are falling behind, you need to seek me out so that we can rectify that as soon as possible because we don't want you falling behind. We want you to stay up on stuff. Okay, so if you miss, uh, if you got a miss or you submit a late homework, um, basically this is one of these things of stuff is going to happen. Right. We're just in, we're all in that kind of environment. Uh, as far as homeworks are concerned, homeworks weren't because of the system that we're using, we can't accept late homeworks. It just doesn't work that way. Um, quizzes, you can submit a late quiz, but you're going to get a 10% penalty for every day it's late. You can totally do homeworks early and you can totally do quizzes early. In fact, I suggest strongly that you stay uh, on top of the ball as much as possible and not wait until the last minute to do those things because you have no idea what's going to happen in the last minute. Maybe something, some kind of life event or otherwise is going to occur. Make sure you get your stuff done as soon as you possibly can. Um, it will help you and it will help you make sure that you don't actually miss any of those things. Um, if you're needing to miss an exam, you need to let me know uh, before the due date of the exam so that we can figure out an alternative. Um, not letting me know that you have to miss the exam is going to result in a failure, uh, or I'm sorry, going to result in a zero in that exam, um, and it's not going to be dropped from your final grade. Ways that you can contact me include, you guessed it, the messages as well as email. Grading scale. Okay, this is our tentative grading scale. Feel free to read through that on your own leisure. Uh, please note, we're not doing extra credit assignments as part of this course. Um, as we go through the rest of the syllabus, please make sure that you read through and you understand what's being asked of you. Um, your statement about academic integrity and misconduct. In essence, um, don't do those things. Have integrity, don't misconduct. Um, if you're confused about what misconduct could be, it could be cheating, fabricating information, plagiarizing a source, uh, interfering with other folks and their scores, uh, violation of course rules, facilitating academic dishonesty, abuse of confidentiality. Uh, if you need a more rigorous discussion on academic integrity and misconduct, please make sure you check out the student handbook about what that is. If you intentionally violate uh, academic integrity rules, um, you're going to fail the assignment and it's, it's not going to go well. It's just not going to go well. Please don't do it. The academic, uh, integrity is one of those things of it's really, 
um, important that you keep it. You don't want to fall into that trap of misconduct, even if it's an accident. Um, accidents happen, but in this course, those accidents are completely uh, like we can. We don't have to have those accidents because if you have a question like, I don't know if this is like, I don't know if this isn't, you know, I don't know if I should be doing this. Just ask me. I'm more than happy to let you know ahead of time. And I could say like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't do it that way, but you could do it this way. Um, we're here in college to learn. And one of the things that I want to help you learn is that difference, especially if you have any questions on it. You know that whole thing, if it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission, that ain't true when it comes to academic integrity. Make If you have a question, please seek out myself or somebody who actually knows what they're talking about um, in terms of academic integrity to figure out if that action uh, is something you should do or not. If you have a disability, please let me know as soon as possible. There's uh, guidance here about how to do that. Class conduct, excuse me, um, basically, I just want you to try your best. Um, reach out, ask me questions, because that's when you're going to learn the most. The direct, like the specific question that you have is going to, like the answer that you get from that is going to matter more to you than anything that I've got to um, just pontificate about. So, please ask those questions. COVID-19 policy, please make sure that you're uh, checking your email. And if you have questions about the university's COVID-19 uh, policies or what we are doing, go to this website. That's going to have the most up-to-date information at this point in time. Um, make sure that you also read the frequently asked questions regarding masks. Um, and that's also found on this general overall website here. So, acknowledgements, please read through all this stuff, please. Course outline. Okay, we're going to pretty strictly be sticking to this course outline. Um, so, on Monday, these are the sections that you should be reading in your book. And on Tuesday, homework one is going to be due. Wednesday, these are the sections you should be reading from your book. Thursday, your homework is going to be due. Thursday, quiz 1, 1A, 1B is going to be probably due. We might have a little bit of an alteration on these quizzes. If we have alterations on these quizzes, uh, I will let you know, um, and please feel free to ask questions. Friday, we are going to have these this section in your book and Saturday, this homework is due. Now, let's say you want to read the entire chapter, uh, chapter one here on Monday, and you want to do all of your homeworks and submit them by Tuesday. Cool. Go for it. The trick on that is if you get it all done between Monday and Tuesday, um, you probably should still look over stuff on Wednesday and Friday. That way it stays fresh in your mind. You can overload yourself uh, time-wise and mental capacity-wise in watching the videos, reading the uh, book, and trying to cram everything into a day. Cramming it in one day might not actually help you in the long run. It might not actually have the information stick in your head. It's kind of like eating. Yeah, you could try to eat all of your meals for a day in the morning. Um, usually leads to you being pretty hungry that evening. Uh, regularly paced out learning usually works a lot better. On this course schedule, we have the exams. I'll make a separate video about exams and their format uh, when we get a little bit closer to that. But these are the exams uh, when they're going to get released and when they're going to be the days that they're going to be due. When we get further down in the semester, we're also going to talk more about the final exam and how that's going to end up going. Okay, so that's our syllabus conversation. Okay, back to ACE. Start here. Seems like that's a pretty good place to start. So if we go in and then what are you going to learn in this course? Please read through this stuff. Spend some time trying to actually curate a nice set of words and a nice set of information for you. 
so to communicate to you what you're actually going to need. Um, for the homework, I said that we were going to talk about that here. On the start here, this is where you can get some specific information on how to sign up for the Chem 101. When you are signing up for Chem 101, please make sure that you are clicking on the proper link um, and you're using the proper course code. Start here. Here's the start here assignment. Make sure that you go through and do this start here assignment because you're going to need to submit the certificate that you get upon completion of this assignment to this readiness assignment. So if you click on this link, you're going to see this uh, submission form and yours is going to look a little different because um, I'm the instructor and so my stuff looks different from yours. Um, but you're going to be able to submit the certificate that you get. Down here again is the tentative course outline just posted. This is the same thing that was in the syllabus. Now that you're done with the start here information, you can come over to lessons. In lessons, this is where we're going to have our weekly lesson material. And each week, uh, I'll be putting the lesson material in these various folders that you'll see. And so here's your required texts for your uh, course learning objectives. These will also have the videos that I'm wanting you to watch that I will be making. This will also have uh, information about the homework assignments that are due each day. So th the layout of these uh, week one, week two, all the way through the rest of the semester as we get there will be to help guide you on and let you know what you need to be doing and what is due each day of the week. Like I said, you can totally work ahead. That's your prerogative. Just remember you need to be able to perform and still be able to do the different things that we ask you on the final exam. So if you can do it all in one fell swoop and do just fine on an exam, go for it. If you need to pace it out throughout the week, go for it. It's your call. Um, gradebook is where you'll be able to come in and you'll actually be able to see the grades that you are getting for the various assignments. Right now, the only assignment that will be up will be quiz one, um, and that's going to be something that you're going to turn in at the end of the first week of class. So, hey, look, there's no grades in here. Um, for various assignments, you'll be able to click on the assignments tab, um, and it's going to tell you the assignments, their status, when they open, when they're due, and you can click on this like button right here and it's gonna lead you into set assignments. Last, uh, not last, if you click this link right here, this Chemistry 2E textbook, it's gonna take you to a new page and it's gonna open up your textbook for you uh, right there in your browser. Um, please note you can download the entire book as a PDF if you want to. That's totally your prerogative. You can also just look at the individual sections um, based off of individual links. The Chem 101, if you click that, that's going to take you to Chemistry 101. And right now it's opening inside ACE. I'm going to fix that so that it opens in a brand new window. Last thing, messages. Okay, so when you're in here in the messages, you'll be able to compose a message, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna have received, sent, deleted drafts. Just hit the compose or click on the received so that you can see what you've got. And look, I've got one unread message, very exciting. Okay, this was our introduction to ACE um, and the overall course layout. Please let me know if you have any questions after watching this. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, talk with you soon.